The United States government owes a lot of money $35 trillion to be exact, this is a massive amount of debt, and it's causing worry around the world. Both political parties in the US seem unwilling to really tackle this problem, even during elections, understanding this debt issue, how it might be solved, and how it could affect the whole global economy is really important, this video will dive into the details of the US debt, explore the different options for dealing with it, and look at how it could impact the rest of the world. The debt problem explained let's start with the basics. The total amount of money in the US banking system is around $20 trillion, but the US government owes $33.6 trillion, on top of that, US households owe another $17 trillion, plus, there's an estimated $65 trillion in hidden global debt that's also in US dollars, when you add it all up, the total debt is way more than the total amount of money that exists, how is this possible? It has to do with a process called rehypothecation, what the heck does this even mean? Basically, rehypothecation means that the same dollars get loaned out over and over again, for every single dollar, there can be many, many loans made using that same dollar, this allows the total debt to grow much faster than the actual money supply. Another key reason the debt has grown so much is that interest rates have been falling for the past 40 years. Back in the 1970s and 1980s, interest rates and inflation were both very high, but from the 1980s until 2020, interest rates kept going down and down, this made it a lot cheaper for people in the government to borrow money and take on more debt, however, that trend has now reversed, interest rates are rising quickly again. Many people and businesses are now struggling to afford the interest payments on all their debt, they don't have enough money to take on even more debt, experts are particularly worried about the US government bonds, called treasuries, treasuries are the foundation of the global financial system they are seen as the safe asset that everything else is built on, if the treasury market became unstable or stopped working properly, it could cause huge problems around the world, for example, treasuries are used as collateral in the gigantic 18 trillion dollars per day loan market between banks and other financial institutions, if treasuries became unreliable, it could freeze up this crucial source of short-term lending. The $7.5 trillion per day currency exchange market also relies heavily on the stability of treasuries, beyond just the financial system. The growing US debt also has political consequences, both Democrats and Republicans have been reluctant to make the tough choices needed to seriously address the debt, like raising taxes or cutting spending. This is partly because powerful special interests and political donors have a lot of influence, and their interests don't always align with smart fiscal policies, potential solutions given how massive the US debt problem is, there's no simple solution, but there are a few main options that could be pursued. Number 1. Debt forgiveness throughout history, there have been times when large debts have simply been forgiven or cancelled, this is sometimes called a jubilee, for example, the Biden administration has forgiven some student loan debt, on a bigger scale, the Federal Reserve could potentially just forgive the huge amount of government debt that it owns. Number 2. Deflation and defaults Another possibility is a painful but relatively quick deleveraging of debt. As people and companies scramble to pay down their debts, it would cause money to rapidly disappear from the economy. This could lead to a lot of defaults, crashing asset prices, and a sharp drop in inflation. It would be very disruptive in the short term, but the economy might recover faster afterwards. However, the process can lead to high unemployment, business closures and significant economic hardship, similar to what happened after the Great Depression of the 1930s when widespread debt defaults led to a severe economic downturn. Number 3. Inflationary deleveraging to avoid the painful effects of deflation, central banks might choose to pursue inflationary deleveraging. This involves printing more money to cover defaults and bailouts, which increases the money supply. As more money circulates in the economy, it can lead to inflation, where the value of money decreases and prices rise, in an inflationary environment. Debt can be inflated away meaning that the real value of the debt decreases as incomes and asset prices go up. This spreads the economic pain over time rather than concentrating it in a short, sharp shock. However, if inflation gets out of control, it can lead to hyperinflation, where money becomes nearly worthless and the economy collapses. An example of this is Zimbabwe in the late 2000s, where hyperinflation reached astronomical levels, leading to economic chaos. Number 4. Economic growth The most optimistic scenario is a boom in productive growth. This could happen if major technological or energy breakthroughs lead to a significant increase in economic productivity, for example, advances in artificial intelligence, green energy, or biotechnology could create new industries, generate wealth, and drive economic growth, if the economy grows rapidly enough, it could help offset the burden of the debt, this is similar to how individuals might take on debt to pay for education, expecting that the higher earnings from a better job will allow them to pay off the debt and still come out ahead, however, given the enormous scale of the current debt, this scenario seems the least likely to fully address the problem on its own. Most experts think a combination of these approaches is the most probable outcome. There might be some targeted debt forgiveness, a degree of inflationary deleveraging, and potentially productivity gains, but the basic math is clear there is simply far more debt than there is money to pay it back. 
Global implications The US debt problem has huge implications for the rest of the world. That's because the US dollar is the dominant currency used globally, around 60% of foreign exchange reserves around the world are held in US dollars. The US can borrow money more easily and cheaply than other countries, but it also makes the entire global economy highly dependent on the stability of the US financial system. If the US debt burden became unsustainable, it could severely undermine confidence in the dollar and US treasuries. This would have widespread ripple effects, potentially disrupting international trade, capital flows, and the functioning of critical financial markets and institutions worldwide. If the treasury market became unstable, it could freeze up this vital source of funding to almost all of the world. Similarly, the $7.5 trillion per day foreign exchange market relies heavily on the stability of US treasuries as a benchmark. Disruptions here could disrupt the pricing and settlement of countless cross-border transactions and investments. Beyond just finance, a US debt crisis could also undermine the dollar's status as the world's dominant currency. This could lead countries and institutions to seek alternatives, like increased use of other national currencies or the development of a new international monetary system less reliant on the dollar. Some experts argue that reducing global over-reliance on the US dollar is necessary to insulate the world economy from the risks posed by US debt and potential financial instability. This could involve more use of local currencies for trade and investment, as well as creating new multilateral financial mechanisms. However, moving away from the dollar's dominance would be an extremely complex and gradual process, the dollar's position has been entrenched for decades, and there's no clear alternative that could seamlessly replace it on a global scale right now. The US debt problem is a huge challenge with major consequences for the entire world, government leaders and financial authorities will need to navigate these challenges very carefully to prevent a full-blown crisis. Ultimately, solving the debt will require a coordinated effort using economic, political, and financial tools. What do you guys think about our debt crisis? Do you think we will ever have it under control again? Please share your comments below we would love to hear your thoughts.